What's up? Peace, family. Let's talk about the third eye. So the third eye is the sixth chakra. As you may know, you have seven chakras running from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head, to the crown. So your third eye is located in between your eyebrows. It's the sixth chakra. So each of the other five chakras before the third eye deals with the five senses. The sixth chakra is is basically like your sixth sense. It's the sense past sight, smelling, hearing, touching, and feeling. Once you get past that, you're past all illusions. You know, you're, you're, it's more intuition. It's more inside of your mind. It's your mind's eye. It's the eye that sees everything when you're dreaming at night, when you're asleep, you know. So let's get more into the third eye. Not not the positive aspects of it, but the negative aspects of it. Because when you open your third eye, you may notice that it's dangerous. You know, it can cause harm to you. I know when I opened my third eye, it was a very painful experience. Um, a lot of illusions that I believed, like they all crumbled. They all fell. You know, the third eye is the eye that sees through illusions. It sees through duality. So it sees through good and bad. When you open your third eye, there is no more good and bad. There's one. It's like the yin and the yang. It's in between your eyebrows. When you open it, you may feel a pressure inside of your mind. You may feel like something may be splitting inside of your head or a pressure here or two pressures on the side of your head. Either way, go when it opens, there's pressure. So the first thing I noticed when my third eye was open is that I seen food completely different. You know, when my third eye opened, I, I didn't really have a hunger for food. You know, I went without food for about a week, a long time. And when I was offered any type of processed foods, I just didn't want to eat it. And and really, it wasn't even me. It wasn't me turning down the food. It was more, it was more my intuition. It was more something inside of me saying, you know, don't eat that. It's poison. Something trying to protect me from myself. Saying, you know, just to question food. And when your third eye is open, that's something you may do. You may just question reality more. So Food was number one. The second was TV. Uh, Now, a lot of people have heard that television or a TV program is exactly that. It's a program. You know, it's there to program people, basically. But, you know, when your third eye is open, you see through the program. Not only that, it's just harder to watch TV, you know, because your third eye is open. The ancient ones... Ancient Egypt, ancient Mayans, the ancient people, period. They didn't just use these two eyes. You know, they their third eyes was open. Because nowadays, a lot of the government and a lot of agencies, the whole world, <laughs> these people, these elites, they don't want our third eyes open. And they do a lot of things to try to close it. You know, one of the things that calcifies your pineal gland is... Fluoride, you know, there's fluoride in tap water and there's fluoride in most of toothpastes. And then they say that the fluoride inside of that toothpaste is to, you know, whiten your teeth, keep your teeth white or whatever BS they're talking about, whatever. You don't want any fluoride because it calcifies your pineal gland. But before even worrying about uh, your pineal gland being calcified, make sure it's open. So if you open your third eye and you view television, for me and my experience, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but just know your third eye can see through a television. You probably won't want to watch television. You probably won't be that big of a fan into TV shows and movies, which me, I was. I I liked the shows. I liked the movies before my third eye opened. I really have always been big in the anime. I still love anime, third eye open or not. You can watch some freaking anime, but uh, but yeah, I mean, to this day, I really I'm not in the TV and movies anymore. 
uh, open your third eye and you'll understand why. And uh, so I got to food, I got to TV. The third one is the Maya or the illusion of this whole world. When your third eye open, it's like a, in a, a whole expansion in consciousness. Like your whole consciousness expands. It gets it gets broader. It gets bigger. So you can see through all the illusions that we were just taught not to question or not to not to think twice about, you know, things that we were just told to shut up and obey. If that eye opens, you, you just question these things. You know, why do we live like that? Why are people like this? Why why is this happening? You know, all these things. You know, like your brain becomes like a supercomputer of consciousness and questions and ideas. It's like so much is rushing into your brain. It's like a download. So, I mean, that, that just comes with the opening of the third eye. So, you know, TV, food, and the Maya, this illusion that we're living in, you don't see with it anymore. You know, through meditation is how I open my third eye. And, you know, if you close your eyes and you still have sight, you still have clear images and vivid dream and dreams and all these things, that, that comes from the pineal gland, the mind's eye, our first eye. Most kids, their third eyes are open. So you should really listen to kids because, you know, they haven't been programmed. They haven't been on this earth long enough for the people who want our third eyes closed, whatever they're using. It, it don't work on them, you know, because human beings, we're meant to have our third eyes open. So, yeah, those are three things that um, you will be able to see through when your third eye is open. Also, uh, some ways to avoid uh, your third eye closing again is from keeping it decalcified. Some things that keep your decalcified is, you know, natural spring water is good. You should get you some and make sure you're not drinking tap water. And make sure you're not putting fluoride in your mouth, period. Calcifies your third eye. Also, pineapples. Pineapples is a good thing to eat as it uh, also decalcifies your third eye. You know, part of third eye is opening up the third eye is even a more healthier diet. If you want to open your third eye at all, you should eat more healthier. Because if not, you're going to see energies. You're going to see through everything. So... A part of opening your third eye is going back to an organic life. When you go into an organic life, it may not be sunshine and rainbows as you think it is. You may want to go back to the fake life that is being pushed and forced on to everyone. But it's key that you listen to yourself. You listen to your own intuition. You find out that an organic life is a real life. And you know, it's a life that humans are meant to live. So, yeah, it's 2020. I'm hoping we all raise our consciousness and a lot of third eyes open so we can uh, lose these uh, limiting beliefs and these false perceptions and see through everything that uh, they try to close on us. So, yeah, fluoride, water, want to avoid that. You know, Everything. When your third eye is open, you can see through everything. You question everything. It's good to question everything. You know, question what's real, question what's not. You know, 2021 is coming, and, you know, a lot of things, the year this year isn't over. And, you know, before this year is over, you know, we're going to we're gonna see a lot of different changes. We're going to see a lot of different things happen. But, uh, yeah, man, it's 4 a.m. I'm kind of tired. Just woke up. I uh, wanted to come out a video about the third eye, why you shouldn't open it if you're not ready. You know, if you're ready to live more organically, open it. If you're ready to live at a high vibration, you should open your third eye. If you're ready to know that you're a multidimensional being, you're a soul inside of a body. You're not this body. You're not this flesh. I'm not this person here. I'm the person inside of here. When you're ready to 
live on that frequency, you should open your third eye. But <laughs> if, if you're not ready for that, then, um, yeah, man, keep it closed. You know, maybe everyone's not meant to wake up in this lifestyle, but in this lifetime. But everyone who's watching this video, you know, I wish a peaceful third eye awakening on you. And I hope that you have a good day. Yeah, you have a beautiful life. I just wanted to come and make a quick video for you guys and, uh, and get some things off my mind about the third eye. Uh, I want to make another video about this, a more detailed in depth one where, you know, I write some notes down, you know, go deeper with my experience because uh, I really didn't get too into detail on, you know, my third eye awakening. Because, like I said, it wasn't pretty. But the, um, the benefits and the life that you live after the opening of your third eye is worth it. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. So, yeah. Peace. Everybody, stay healthy. Stay balanced. Peace.